Welcome guys, it's me the Wally Hunter. Today's video will help you to create your cards. Condition creating is extremely important. When it comes to trading or if you want to sell or buy cards, you will get the best results if you are familiar with condition creating. Before I start, here's some general information. Card creating is a really wide field and there are a lot of different opinions around. Some people would create their cards completely different than I would. Collectors who are really connected to their cards might be more precise and accurate in creating their cards as casual players. And this is absolutely fine. I think the most important rule of trading, selling or buying cards is the feeling. If the deal feels right to you, go for it. Alright, nevertheless, there are some guidelines you should follow. There are basically six different categories how you might grade your cards. The names of these categories differ slightly. There is an American grading system and an European grading system. But in the end, each shop has its own individual grading system. I tried my best to match them as good as possible. Let's start with Mint. A Mint card is absolutely perfect, no excuses. It shows no wear from shuffling or general play. There are no scratches on the surface and the surface is perfectly clean. The card is perfectly centered and shows absolutely no printing imperfections. Foil in this category have no scuffing or clouding on the front. Some people claim that there are no existing cards in a mint condition because in the very moment you open up a sealed booster, the condition of all cards change from mint to near mint. In my personal opinion, there is a way to create a card as mint. I will show you. Take a sealed booster. Open it up really careful and make sure you don't touch the cards. Of course you wear gloves because touching a card with your bare hands would put fat on your fingerprints on it. Grab the card carefully and put it straight into a double sleeve and into a top loader. And after that you put it into a box with adjustable temperature. This will prevent the card from oxidation. Well, I think I made this point clear. In most of the cases, people who play with the cards and don't collect them primarily don't grade their cards as mint. The best card condition a magic player can look for is near mint. A near mint card looks like it has never been played without sleeves. Small allowances can be made, but the card generally shows no wear. The border of a near mint card can have small white spots, but they must be very few and very small. When the card is inspected under bright daylight, the surface must generally appear clear. It can have a few minor spots, but scratches can never be allowed for a near mint card. Foils in this category have no too little scuffing or clouding on the front. Lightly played or excellent or fine. Cards in lightly played or excellent condition show definite minor wear. Examples of cards in this crate include cards with minor border wear, minor corner wear, very minor binder bending, slight scratching, clouding or loss of sheen on the front due to play wear. The surface may have minor scratches that are visible upon close inspection. However, the card cannot be graded this way if the creases are so deep that they are visible upon first sight. Cards signed by the card's artist or bearing a pro to a stamp are graded as slight slightly played condition, even if they would otherwise be near mint. Foils in this condition will generally have some clouding or wear on the front of the card. Moderately played or good. A moderately played or good card looks like it might have been used for a long tournament without sleeves. Cards in good condition usually show strong wear all around the card. The edges and the corners have many white spots, the surface usually has scratches and the card usually has accumulated some dirt. However, the card still only has damage that stem from regular play. The card has no water damage or bends or whatsoever. Most of the cards in good or moderately played condition are clearly in a condition that would make them ineligible for play without sleeve and they would be considered marked. Heavily played or played. Cards in heavily played condition show a certain amount of wear. A played card looks as bad as you can get a card through regular use without sleeves. A played card looks extremely bad and it is doubtful if the card is tournament legal even in a sleeve deck. However, the card has not been tampered with otherwise like ink border, random scribblings on the card or whatsoever. Heavily played condition can include cards that have major creasing, major whitening, major border wear or any combination of those flaws. And last but not least, the really fucked up cards. Damaged and poor condition. A poor card has damage that cannot normally have stemmed from regular use of the card. Cards in damaged condition may have extreme border wear, have been written on, stamped, receive major inking, extreme corner wear, heavy scratching or scuffing, folds, creases, tears, water damage or random scribblings on it. A card in this condition is literally destroyed. So these are the most popular card creating conditions, but remember, each shop uses slightly different standards to create their cards and there is no universal valid way to create magic cards. As mentioned before, if the deal feels right to you, go for it. 
it's not a shame to say no to a trade. Alright, I hope this will help you at your next trade. If you want to get deeper into the whole topic of creating and caught conditions, check out this video. There's a lot more to explore. If you like this video and want me to do more of these, hit the like button. Tell me about your experience with caught creating. Which way of creating do you use? In diesem Sinne, thank you for your attention. Be the mint cards with you. I'm out of this. Bye bye.